I was very honest with you this morning because you are sober and you have been sober for seven years. And I feel like over the last two years, I have been leaning on alcohol. And I have, I talked to you about it very candidly this morning. And you said that it was very, like, I, last night, I, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to go one night without having a drink. And I didn't do that. And now today, I'm beating myself up mm. with guilt. And I feel like, uh, especially over everything that's happened over the last 24 months, I, I am leaning a little bit on alcohol because it, it numbs the pain. Yes. It helps me with my stress. It helps me relax. And it's become a routine, frankly. And I was thinking to myself last night, because I'm, I'm mad at myself for doing that, that I didn't well, that keep my commitments to, go to yes. myself. Yes. And I'm thinking maybe I need to just remove all the alcohol in my house. And I think that would literally probably cut out alcohol consumption by like 60%. And and so Because I drink home alone. Is that going to then kind of make you go out and like are you going to find a way are you going to find the way the path it, to alcohol that's exactly it kelly like like y- you at some point and by saying this i mean i respect and honor you so much because you're being open and completely honest not only with everyone listening but with yourself and you're at that place and i've been in that place and i lie in bed and i look at the corner i'm like it's just a matter of when like a corner of the wall sleeping i'm like i'm an alcoholic and i admit it yes and i'm okay with it but when am i ready to stop like yes. when is that going to happen? And what you are noise? you are right in that place of Oh, it's your phone. You didn't turn your sorry. phone off. <laughs> I, I was uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bad mom. Um, you're in that pivotal place and you're going to do what I feel or what I did and I think that you're going to find ways. You're going to find the ways. I'm going to take it all out of the house. Yep. I'm not going to go to this restaurant tonight. I'm going to say, "Okay, let me get one drink tonight, but you know what? After that I'm going to stop." It's like, scary to think cutting it all out. Of course. Did you drink every night? Uh, my problem was when I drank, I drank to pa- and I passed out for the most part. That was us in college. Yeah, you and yeah, I. You and I. Now the crazy part is Kelly, Kelly should be the, the alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. you were the one drinking every night. Eden and I didn't drink every night, but when we went out, we drank. That was it. Yeah, Someone I was I in. was drinking and partying every night, and that's why I stopped early and on. And you also got, got kicked out of college. <laughs> I did. Didn't they ask you to leave? Why'd you leave? I left because we. I, Oh, that's a whole other story. <laughs> but you were it was failing. Financial. It was financial. Oh, I thought you were not doing so well with the grades. No, in that fact, was me. <laughs> I don't even, I think by the time I met you, I actually probably wasn't really in school, in school anymore. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know if you were going to class anymore. <laughs> it's no, a long story. It was a financial issue. <laughs> the point is you're the one that should be in AA, not Eden and I. was 100% the partier at every social, at every situation. <laughs> I was the Butterfly but you know what campus. the difference is? She didn't change. She was Kelly with the alcohol. Kelly without that. She was just always okay, Kelly. Okay, that's true. That's true. You and I, I changed. I become she, nicer when I drink. I, I mean, I kind of do too. That's because it all goes away. Yes, it all goes I don't, away. You're and right. Okay. I'm so happy. That's, I'm curious why you. I guys should drink during do the day. <laughs> no. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's right. No. Yeah, that's not the direction we're going. 